Stupid fog. How are we supposed to see in this? You two must have forgotten we work at Steelworks. You have to see each other's steam all the time. But little did the two know the points weren't set right, so they went on the branch line. By the time Rebecca and I got to the next station, the fog had lifted. That's strange. Where did hair dye go? They must be far behind. Oh well, that just makes an easy win for us. I guess. Something on your mind? I suppose you could say that. What's wrong? You can't tell me. I'm really going to miss Di if she loses. Yeah, that's the hardest part of these competition things. Having to say goodbye. Possibly never seeing each other again. I've gotten quite close with a few endings here. Like who? Like Wilson, Di, Gordon, Colin, you... Me? Where are we? I told you, Wilson, on our way to London. Oh, good. I can see you again. Now I can see you. Oh, you. Did you hear that? How could I not? Be careful, Wilson. There's still a bit of fog over there. Oh, it's you. That blue engine from the trials. You've... changed. Where have you been? You've just vanished. Well, after being wrongfully the first one to go, I just went around the country thinking. Thinking about what? Stuff. So what's happened since I vanished? Lots of things. Was I in the final six? Who was in the final six? Rebecca, Alfred, Sonny, and Henry. Alfred is what 8572 is called now. So, Gordon's gone? <laughs> yeah, crash right through the station. Good. What was that? It was a good thing you two found me. But what are you doing this far in Doncaster? Gordon crashed through the station wall, and because of that, the trials are being moved to London. Then why are you here? This is the way to London. It's not. No. I'll show you the way. <laughs> 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 ah! <laughs> why are we laughing? This is going very well. I promise that dream will come true. You do make an interesting point. I know, right? Tracks are only troublesome because of how they're treated. Ah! Ah! Jump clear. Now! Is that Frederick? At least, we know he's right. And I guess we are as well. I hate British weather. Ah, oh, we there yet? This is so boring. It's not all bad. Thought we all played a game last time. I guess. All right then. How about the game Ice Spy? That's a game people play, right? I don't know. I'm not a person. Okay, I'll start. Ice Spy with my little eyes. Something red. Um, the sky. That's blue. Well, I might be colorblind. You don't know. I know you're not. Yeah, you got me there. Hmm. Is it that bird? No. Is it that wall? It looks kind of red. What wall? Why have we stopped? We're here. This is London? There isn't much here. Hold on, this is right. Diane, would you care to move out of the way so I could go back and find out where we are? Uh, sure. Perfection. So, where are we? Simple Wilson. You're at your end. We've reached my what? Wilson, look out. Oh my... What have you done? What? You gonna cry? Maybe. Pathetic. The single must have sent me in the wrong line. But that should have been you down here. How could you? I came here to do one thing only. Win. And nothing will stand in my way. But I don't understand. You already lost. 
<laughs> so why are you doing this? I had to do whatever it takes. So it was you who's been sabotaging these, not Sonny. You aren't as brainless as I thought. Goodbye, Wilson. Don't worry, I'll think of something. Oh, what? Come to finish me off as well? Sonny? What are you doing here? I was on my way to London to join the others, and I was told to take Rocky with me. Looks like it was a good thing I did too. How did this happen? You were right, Sonny. About what? You weren't the one behind all the sabotages. If it wasn't me, then who was it? It was that small blue engine. He's the one who pushed Di down the ravine. Please, get her out of there. I'll try my best. I completely misjudged you, Sonny. It's alright. I just hope the others realise their mistake. I do as well. My trial is set to happen as soon as the last train reaches London. Oh shoot, London. I completely forgot. There's no way you can get there before Henry and Rebecca from here. I'm not going to go on. But you're hurt. So, I won't go up that easily. Give me the train. But Give me the train. Are you sure you want to do this? You don't have to if you don't want to. I'm sure I can do the one. I might as well help you. Sonny, this is the least I could do to help. Almost there, Rebecca! Yeah, yeah. Hey, wait a minute! Why are we slowing down? What happened? I think something might be wrong. Hmm, now that you mention it, something doesn't feel right. Should we wait before continuing? Only a little bit. <coughs> there they are. Now we can continue forward, but slowly to make it more fair. We tied? I think so. Die, what happened to you? <laughs> she was pushed off a broken bridge. Who would do such a thing? It was a small blue engine. He's the one who's been sabotaging us. And he's been the one who's been causing the accidents. So Sonny's innocent? We'd better tell the authorities about this. Oh, I see. Well, I'll do everything I can to locate the engine responsible. Thank you, officer. Now, I must take Di to the works. She's horribly damaged and will be in there for a while. Wait, does this mean... It means Di will have no choice but to drop out of the competition. Di, I'm so sorry. It's all my fault. I'll make it up to you somehow. I'll win for the both of us. I'd hate to change the subject so soon, but Sonny, Alfred, and Henry, your trial is happening in just 10 minutes. What will it be? This doesn't really answer my question. All you have to do is stay in the shed the longest. The first to leave is out, while the other two make it to the fourth round. I wish you all the best of luck. That sounds easy. Too easy. There must be a catch. I say we enjoy the calm trial. What gives? What's wrong? You gave those three an easy trial. That's going to go on forever. Where's the challenge in that? You see, I just purchased a new engine for this part of the competition. Everyone, meet Caitlin. Hello. Hi. What does this have to do with the trial? They've never met Caitlin before, so I'll make them think that she's some sort of ghost to scare them into leaving the shed. Sounds simple enough. Caitlin, you know what to do. I sure do.
Is is that a ghost? Alfred, maybe? I'm right here. Not you. Spooky. What is going on? I'm not going to lie, this is fun. Let me in. Let me in. No, 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 not by the smoke of my chimmy chim chim. Now's your chance. I'll chuff and I'll puff and I'll break your door in. Ah! Calm down, it's just me. We don't know who you are. I guess I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Caitlin. I'm the manager's new private engine. That wasn't funny. By the way, my name's Sonny. Mine is Henry. And I'm Alfred. Well, sorry I scared you, Sonny. It's alright. You were just following orders. Well, I guess I've got to go now. Not exactly. What do you mean? Where do you think all of the others go? Home? They go to the engine sheds here in London. Some of you will be important in the final round. Cool. See you all later, I guess. And then there were four. Wilson, Henry, Rebecca and Alfred. One of you four will be the winner. Round four will happen tomorrow. I can't believe I've come so far. And to think I only got Di and I in this to get Di away from her brother. Anyway, I'm personally excited to see what happens. Although I'm really going to miss all of you once all of this is over. <laughs> yeah, who am I? <laughs> The heck was that all about? What? You know what you said. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Wait a minute. I see what's going on here. No, you don't. You don't know what's going on. I think I know a thing or two about this kind of stuff. You wouldn't understand. I don't even think I understand. I know exactly what you're feeling. You like him, don't you? Alright, fine. I do. So what? So what? So everything! It's only a matter of time before one of you two leaves this and never sees each other again. So you've got to show Henry how much you care before it's too late. I'm not sure how. Well, you seem to have a problem with your self-confidence, and I think I can help with that. How? Hello? Anybody there? Who goes there? James? Um, no. I can see you. Oh, I didn't know that you could just, um, just get in here. I see you lost your competition. Yeah, I did. What is this place, anyway? What else do you think the engines you lost one? I don't know. Home, I guess? Wrong. I go here. It's all the engines you lost. Well, except a small blue engine. Oh well, there's still Birch Grove, Mark, Glynn, Colin, Edward, Percy, Fergus, James, Geoffrey, Thomas, Neil, Oliver, Diesel, Lily, Gordon, and Di. I see you did it in order of you lost. Impressive. Thanks. I like to remember these kinds of things. Now hold on. I thought some of you were out of the works. Where do you think that was? Here, of course. They even closed off this portion of London for the competition. They seem to be pouring a lot of money into this. <laughs> you said it. I'm confused. Do you understand any of this, Colin? Neither do I. So why here of all places? I guess it's far away enough from the conversation. At least until someone crashed into the station at Doncaster. Don't blame me. The rails were covered in some kind of slippery liquid. That's what she said. <laughs> oh. Let's just wait until tomorrow. I heard from the trial manager as I was leaving that he had something planned then. I hope you're right, Sonny. It's very boring in this shed. <laughs> ah! What was that for? To get you all awake, of course. Today's a very important day for you. And why is that? Because you all will have an important part to play in the competition, even if none of you are competing. That is because you all get to decide which one of the remaining engines will be out of the competition. All of you will be voting on either Henry, Rebecca, Alfred or Wilson. I'll be keeping track of the votes. You know who this competition could do without? That old square-wheeled Henry. One vote for Henry. All right, that's the last straw. Whoa! You 
you might be able to push me off the line, but my vote has already been counted. Alright then. In that case, I vote for Alfred. One vote for Alfred? What? It's too late. My vote has already been counted. I guess I'd have to vote for Alfred as well. Two votes for Alfred. One vote for Wilson. No, no, I won't cook that notebook. Sorry, it's a little too late for that. The only one in the final four I'd vote off is Henry. Two votes for Henry. Only because I never really got to know him. Hey Colin, you've got to vote for one of the final four. Like Wilson, for example. Two votes for Wilson. How's that fair? Technically, your vote counts as his vote. That doesn't seem right. You know what? I'm going to take this time to succeed at what I failed to do. I vote for Henry's demise. Three votes for Henry. Um, uh, Wilson. No, wait. Three votes for Wilson. Darn it. Did you vote for Wilson by accident? Yes, I did. Four votes for Wilson. This is beginning to feel like some kind of trick. I guess I have no other choice. I vote for Henry. Four votes for Henry. Um, my vote seems really pointless, so I'll just go with Henry. Five votes for Henry. I just woke up. Why is everyone saying the name Wilson? Five votes for Wilson. Wait, so vote is counted just because someone says Wilson? That's what I've been doing. Also, that makes six votes for Wilson. Stop saying Wilson. This guy's crazy. He doesn't understand the difference. Seven votes for Wilson. F*** you all. Did that just happen? Guess so. I got notified that the government wants to wrap this up tomorrow, so Alfred and Henry's trial will be very soon, while the final trial will happen at noon tomorrow. Whoever wins the next trial will be against Rebecca in the final round. I wish each and every one of you the best of luck. I forgot to mention that when I said very soon, I meant right now. Oh, okay. I guess that works. Hey, I know I've given you a hard time at first. Oh, I'm fine with it. I completely understand. So, why did you change your Neveria anyway? I thought it would be fun for change. I've been called by my number for my entire life up to this point. Welcome to the penultimate trial of the Locomotive Exchange Trials. This one is to test electric buffers. Electric what? Electric buffers. They're buffers that will give power when weight is applied to them. Go ahead and try them out. Basically, this is to see how much power they can handle. Whoever's side has some kind of problem first, loses. Go! You know what that means? Don't feel sad. I have an idea. Seeing your trials with Edward and Oliver respectively have made me think. You seem like just the right engine to do goods work for me. So what do you say? What do I say? I say you've got yourself a new engine. Good. If that's the case, then you must head over to Leeds right now. Right now? But that means I won't see Henry and Rebecca compete against each other in the final trial. I'm sure you still can. But just in case, you might want to say goodbye now. Good luck, you two. Sorry I won't be around to see one of you win. Caitlin will take you there. Yes, sir. Goodbye, you two. Henry the Green Engine and Rebecca the Yellow Engine, the two remaining engines. Tomorrow, one of you will win the prize of a lifetime. So, what you all do for fun? Singing. Shunting. Runon. Eh? But you're an engine. Shh. Oh, shh. 
What are you two even doing here? The trial manager says that each of you has help from two of the losers. Oh. You know what I meant. Anyway, Rebecca, I need to speak with you in private. Now. Can't you see I'm busy? Now! Fine. Have you told Henry yet? Told him what? Don't play dumb. No. What? You do realize tomorrow is the last day of this. Do you not realize you might never see him again afterwards? You sure? That's the curse of these things. You've got to tell him tonight, and I'll help you, but you must do everything I say. Why am I already doing this? That's completely normal. That's old. Oh, hello Rebecca. Hi Henry. What's all of this? Just a little something to celebrate us to making it to the final trial. That's not why. Shut it. I don't think I will. Does he have to be here? Fortunately, yes, the pool is inside him. Please don't take that out of context. There's another reason, I just wanted to say something. I've got to go back to sleep. You can tell me after the trial. You really messed up, Rebecca. Today will mark the end of this historic event for British Railways, Henry the Green Engine versus Rebecca the Yellow Engine. This trial will be combining a few of the previous trials together, but first, you each must figure out which two engines will be your helpers, two for Henry and two for Rebecca. Let's see, I'll choose uh, Colin and Mark. I'll choose Wilson and Brad. So that's settled. Henry, Rebecca, Colin, Mark, Wilson and Di will stay here for a while longer while the rest of you will begin the journey back to Doncaster. Ha! Huh, neat. Your assistants will try to gather six specific freight cars for each engine as shown here. Once you get the trucks in that order and get the train approved by that green engine over there, attach them to the back of Henry or Rebecca. Then you two begin to set off down the line until you get to the small well quarries in Leeds. But before that, you must go to the yard where you uncouple from your train and the assistants will shunt 10 quarry trucks for each engine, including a brake van. Then you take the trains to the quarry where the finish line is at. The winner of this trial is the winner of the whole competition. Wait, how will you get to the quarry? I have my ways. Now let's begin this. Go! What did the manager say were the right trucks? Good thinking, Colin. Every train has to have a brake van at the end. But what's next? I remember there was two of something. Of what? You're absolutely right. There are a lot of trucks here. There has to be at least one that's for the train. That's it. This is what there's two of. Okay, let's check in on the other two and see how much they're failing. What? Boom. How? Simple, Mark. We make a good team together. So do Colin and I, right? Next time you're in charge of this stuff. Now let's hurry and get this train over there. Here's, Here's our, our train. train. Ooh, come down, you two. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll look at yours first. It looks good to me. You two, you can go. Nice. I'm sorry, you two, but you got the wrong hand of van for your train. You better go back and fix it. What? It's the rule, I'm afraid. You know what? It's fine. Don't worry, I'll get you both some nice divorce papers for Christmas. We're not even married. Where is she? Mm -hmm. That's better. Alright, you can go now. Have fun. Die. this is exactly why I love you. Mm -hmm. Rebecca, we got the train. Less sorry. I can't believe it. I'm so close to winning. And it's all because of you! So, what do you plan on doing after you win? You know, 
I never even really thought of that. But I know it's gonna be great. I have a feeling you're right. What I also have is a plan. But to make it happen, we better be get our way to the quarries where the others will be. If you say so, but there's, but there's an easier way to get there. And that is... This. You, you could teleport? Why haven't you told me before? You never asked. And look, we're the first ones here. Well, not for long. Here comes Gordon and Jeffrey. I win! See? I would have been the perfect winner for this. I want a rematch. You can want a rematch, but you'll never get one. How long before we get there? Hopefully, not much longer. Do you see any signs of Rebecca? No, a board. Ah, oh, Christ! What is it, Mark? Rebecca's here. She's coming pretty fast, too. Is she on the same line as us? Looks like it. Then we should have no problem. I shouldn't have to say that. I should not have said that. How are we going to pass on now? I'm not sure, Mark. Crap, do any of you remember which way this still leads? Um, I don't. Die, do you? That one. This way? I can't do my injuries has no personal to see. I can't understand a word you're saying, so I just hope you're right. This isn't looking all too familiar. What are you saying? I'm saying we're lost. Die! I said you knew the way. Well, you are speaking to the two engines who've spent their whole lives in the steelworks, then got sent to another part of the country for a competition, one in which they got lost in. Twice. We got lost on the way here to begin with. I think we should go back. Henry must be a quiet distance ahead. I recognize the lumber mill. Going the right way. Good. It can't be much longer now. Why did we stop? We're so ahead. Henry? What's wrong? I, I... I can't! Can't what? I can't see what you're seeing. <laughs> Something's clearly wrong, Henry. You better tell me what it is before Rebecca shows up. I've... Uh... I had a, a few bad experiences about bridges. Henry, it's just a bridge. This is bigger than any bridges I've ever seen, and it doesn't look too safe. Look, if it makes you feel any better, Colin will cross the bridge before you do. See? Now you better cross it before- That's the last time I can ever get navigation advice from a couple of lovebirds. Oh shoot, well you know what they say, if you want something done right, you've got to do it yourself. I'm trying! Okay, so you have reached some rail buttons in the yard with the quarry trucks. So when one of the engines collect our trucks, it will set off the series of controlled explosions in the quarry, which will cause a landslide. Hopefully, when Harry and Rebecca are here, the landslide will crush and kill all of them. And with nobody left in the competition, they'll have no chance but to let me win. 
Are you actually planning on winning by killing more than 20 innocent engines? Exactly. But that'll show them. Ah, <sighs> great, great. Something in your mind? Yes. I don't think this, this is evil enough. Who cares what you think? You have to grant my wish, no matter what. I can't go through with this. It's too subtle. You wouldn't dare. I would. Watch me. Oh, no, you don't. Get out of my way. Was that Frederick? And who was that other engine? What the hell? Damn. It is the end of the line for you. You wouldn't. All you had to do was go along with the plan, and you might still exist two minutes for now. Before you do, I must do one thing first. And what would that be? This. What on earth is that? Um, Frederick, there's something wrong with the cab. That bitch. I just hope this isn't too serious. I better go back to the quarry to watch the show. What was that? It's the final trial. Me against Rebecca. And we need to collect quarry trucks. Oh, hi Alfred. Didn't know you were coming to this. So I might as well be here to see someone win. Did you hear about Frederick? Did they finally found him? No, he found us. I think he just showed up here earlier. He's now hiding in the shed over there. He's been acting very weird. Um, yeah. There's something I haven't told you about him. He... he actually... The, he's actually the one who... Well, pushed Di up the bridge. That was him? Maybe it was an accident. I'll speak to him. Alright. Please be careful. Hey, Frederick. Hello, Birch Grove. Is what Alfred said true? What do you say? He said you pushed Di off a bridge. She's now horribly injured. She's still alive? Damn it. So it was on purpose? Of course it was. She was in my... Must have done something to me. Because I'm not feeling too good. Well, at least my plan will still go through. What plan? I guess, since you won't be around much longer, you, you should know. I've urged some explosions to cause an avalanche here, so as Henry or Rebecca tries to get their quarry trucks. What? Without anyone left, you do have no choice but to make me a winner. I've got to warn them before it's too late. Oh, he's gone. Stop! Don't touch the trucks! What? We have to get to the quarry now! It's going to explode! What? No time to explain!
Everyone get out now! The quarry's going to explode! What? What the? We're all gonna die! Is everyone out okay? I'll go check. Henry, I'm so glad you're all right. Glad to know you're safe as well. Wait, where's that engine? Who caused all of this? Frederick went missing during the explosions. It's safe to say he perished. Good riddance. There's also something we all want to tell you, Henry. What? Henry, Rebecca has decided to make you the winner instead. What? Me? Yes. With that, the winner of the Locomotive Exchange Trials has been decided. Henry the Green Engine has won the grand prize! Tomorrow, we'll be taking publicity images of each engine for the event. The day after that, we'll begin to send you all home one by one. Since you and Rebecca were the finalists, you two will be the last to go home. I was in pure shock that I was the winner, and every engine was in the Doncaster station area. This was the last day all of us were ever together at one spot. Why? What happened to all the trials engines? But whatever happened to Rebecca? I'll get to that in a minute. This whole event has been fun for me, even though I didn't end up crashing into a tree. Yeah. So are you sure you both have to leave right now? I'm afraid so, Edward. Why should I have to go eventually? But we did have fun in this. Who knows? Maybe we'll see each other again someday. Well, I'd better go now. Scotland needs me. Scotland forever! Well, this does seem like the time for us to leave as well. Yeah, Corby's gonna be pissed at us and we're leaving a little bit late. Goodbye, you. Until we meet again. Adios, friends! It would be best if I head back to Leeds now. Promise me you'll visit us some time to Henry. I promise.
So where will you go tomorrow, Rebecca? I'm not sure, James. I was built specifically for this competition. And the day after I was built, I was in here. You've been great throughout this whole competition. You would be a big help on Sodor. Just hope Gordon won't get jealous. So I understand you two will be going home first thing tomorrow. Yes. Well, I guess it's our time to go now. See you two tomorrow. Let's go, you two. Well, I really am going to miss this place. Not to mention you all. Really? Don't forget us, Henry. Alright then. I am really going to miss you all. Don't worry, Henry. Once we finish building the branch line, we'll be going back to Zoro as well. Well, we'd better be off. Wait! Where's Alfie? Don't! Go! Yes! Well, we were about to... But the Vickers Town Bridge is uh, acting up. Acting up? Yeah, it won't go down. Stay right there, Colin. We'll try to get help. But how? The bridge is stuck. So, how are we going to get back home? That's been dealt with. There's a ship that'll take you home. A ship? Is it going to get... That was quick. Yeah, it was. Goodbye, Goodbye everyone. everyone. Goodbye, Henry. Goodbye, Henry. Goodbye, Rebecca. Goodbye, Rebecca. Goodbye, 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 Rebecca. Rebecca. Goodbye, Goodbye Henry. Henry. Later, Henry. Goodbye, Later, Rebecca. Rebecca. Go kick some abdomen. You're going to love it on Soto. There are a few others I'll need to introduce you to. Well, I know for a fact I'm going to love it there. Well, that's good. Thank you. For what? For everything. For never giving up on me. And giving me a great home. Any time. Then why do you look familiar? I don't. Oh, okay. Why do you sound like that? I have a call. <laughs> that sounds awful! I hope you get better soon. Thanks. Now, go back to sleep. If you say so. Finally. Now where's that tugboat? Hey, you, wake up! Oh, I say, what is the meaning of this? You're gonna be on that barge and follow the ship that take those two engines away earlier today. Not a chance. You look like a complete lunatic. Yes, sir. Perfect. Now, follow the ship. Move faster. This is my top speed. I wasn't built for this. Maybe you'll be better as a wreck at the bottom of the sea. Mm. Oh, try go faster. That's more like it. Hold on. Is that it? I do believe that this is indeed the vessel you are searching for. Good. Get closer to it. If you say so. Now, what I want you to do is ram your whole body into the side of the ship. What? No. Are you crazy? Please. There, there's not much time. <laughs> I'm not sure I like this very much. I should really get going. 
So, so you're just gonna leave me? <laughs> what I'm about to do, about to. Oh, bloody hell! What on earth is that? I don't know. I hope nothing happened in the ship. What the hell is that thing? You don't think that's Frederick, do you? It does look like him, except he was... Oh, no! Don't mention it. Rebecca, are you alright? No, not one bit. Everything's going to be fine. I won't let anything bad happen. I promise. Oh no, the ship! It's sinking! That doesn't sound good. It won't be long before the whole thing's underwater. Whoa! This is, can't be how it ends, right? Goodbye, Henry. I, 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 I can't believe it. Rebecca, we're going to be okay. Rebecca. Tencent told us about Rebecca. We're both so sorry for your loss. Are you alright, Henry? <sighs> but I will be.
Welcome to the afterlife. You won't be here for long, though. I'm... I'm all again. That ring... It's gone. Yes. You tricked me! You took control of me? Yes. I've made you try and kill. I've made you bloodthirsty. What's happening to me? You're fading away. Pure souls fade. Now if you excuse me, I have a body to possess. You wanted my body? How could you? This is how life is. Now we must depart from each other. Sarah, please, I don't want to die. It's too late. And my name is Sarah Lynn. Thank you so much for playing my...